In this video, we're going to learn how to find the maximum number in a list in Python without using the built-in max function. So for example, if we have a list like this, list is equal to three, seven, five, eight, four, nine. In this list, the maximum number is nine. Nine is the largest number in this list. We could use the built-in max function to find this maximum number. So we could have print max list. And if we save and run this program, we get that nine is the max number in this list. Now we could create our own program to solve this problem. So what we'll do is assume that the largest number in the list is gonna be the first element in the list. So we'll have max is equal to the list at the index zero. Then we'll write a loop to go through each number in the list. And if that number is larger than max, we're gonna make it the new max. And by the time we've gone through the entire list, max is going to contain the largest number in the list. So we'll have four number in list. So for each number in the list, if that number is greater than max, we're going to make this number the new max by assigning it to max. Then when we're done, max is going to contain the largest number in the list. So we can print that out. We'll have print max colon, and we'll output max. So we can save this and try our program out. And we do get the correct result. We get that the max number is nine. Now, if we're not sure how an algorithm like this is working, we can always put print statements in our code to figure out what's going on with certain variables as the code is executing. So for example, we could put a print here. We could say print start max colon, and we could output max. This would let us know the value of max at the start of the algorithm. So we could save it and run it again. And now we can see when the algorithm starts off, the starting value for max is three. And that makes sense because three is the first value in our list. Now we could also print out each number in this loop. We could print out checking colon and then output the number here. We could save this and run a program. And now we can see that our loop is checking each number in our list one at a time. So we have three, seven, five, eight, four, nine. And then in our list, we have three, seven, five, eight, four, nine. We could also put a print in the body of our if statement. And this would let us know when the max number has been updated and a number has been found that's greater than the current max. So we could have print new max colon. And here we'll output the number, which is going to be our new max value. So we could save this and run a program again. So now we can use this output to step through how our algorithm is working. So here we start off with a max value of three. Then we start checking the elements in our list for a greater max value. So we start with the first element, three. Three is not greater than three, so nothing happens. Then we check the next element, seven. Seven is greater than three, so because of this, the max value is updated to be seven. Then we check the next element in our list, five. Five is not greater than seven, so nothing happens. Then we check the next element in the list, eight. Eight is greater than seven. So because of this, the max value is updated to now be eight. Then we check the next element in the list, four. Four is not greater than eight, so nothing happens. Then we check the last element in the list, nine. 9 is greater than 8, so again we update max to now be 9. So that's how our program works. Now we could put all this logic in a function to create our own function for finding the maximum value in a list. So we'll delete these prints here, and then I'll cut this code here so I can paste it later, and I'll paste it up here. And I'll make a function called find max, and the function will accept a list as an argument. So we'll call the parameter list. Then I'll paste the code into the function body and I'll tab this over to get the spacing correct. Then here, I'm going to return max. So the function does the exact same thing we were doing before. This time though, we have a parameter list that we're using to find the maximum number. And here, we're going to return the max value. Then down here, we could say max is equal to find max and we'll provide it with list as an argument. We can save this 
and run a program. And now we get the max value is nine, but this time we're using a function to do it instead. So this is how we can find the largest value in a list in Python, but without using the built-in max function. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.